Bongo, hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going over James Prendergast Spitfire Mark 14 Echo. Now this is a premium aircraft for Britain in War Thunder, the vehicle MMO. Now diving in to the overview, you may be asking yourself, I'm gonna know, what is this aircraft? Well, pretty much this is a rank four fighter. At battle rating for RK battles and simulator battles, 5-3, and then of course for realistic, it's gonna be at 5-7. Kind of a little background about this aircraft, but pretty much the pilot, James Prendergast, is a Canadian pilot, famous during World War II. And this aircraft is kind of a recon aircraft that's kind of designed differently compared to other Spitfires. You may notice if you look at the wings, the wings actually have eclipsed E wings. So the wings kind of look like they have a little E on them. So it's kind of interesting, kind of unique, a lot different than the other traditional Spitfire aircraft you may find in War Thunder. And now we have to the performance real quick. She's no bungle. How does this aircraft perform, especially at 5.7 battle rating? Well, pretty much at that 5.7 battle rating, a lot of it's taken up by GU-288 premium German bomber spam, but in general it performs actually very very well. It performs great against Allied fighters such as P-47s, P-51s, Bearcats, etc. Performs well against Russian aircraft, LA-7s, etc. As well as against Japanese aircraft. It's a very very strong aircraft. It's also a great turn fighter and has great maneuverability. When we talk about armament on this aircraft, well it has two times 20 millimeter Hispano Mark II cannons and these come with 270 rounds. We also have two 50 cals with 520 rounds. Now we talk about strategies when playing this aircraft, you may be asking yourself, well, you know, how do you actually use this aircraft? Do you do head-ons against everyone? Do you go and just boom and zoom? Well, since this is a turn fighter and it performs really well in maneuverability, you want to bait your opponents into turn fights. And trust me, a lot of players will go and try to turn fight you. If someone's coming at you to do a head-on, you definitely want to maneuver out of the way. You do not want to engage anyone in a head-on just because this aircraft is not equipped, especially from a head-on engagement. But overall, I found this aircraft to be very maneuverable, very easy to use, very easy to get like four kills in match. It's actually very, very fun and I enjoyed playing it. Now moving down to, is it worth it? So there are a lot of premium Spitfires in War Thunder, but this one's definitely very unique. One, especially with the design of the Spitfire being kind of a reconnaissance aircraft, especially with the clips E wings, it performs actually very, very well and maneuvers very well on the battlefield. Having 50 cals instead of 7.7 millimeter, Machine guns is definitely an upgrade. It definitely puts a world of hurt in the opponents, especially if you're engaging them in a turn fight. Overall, I have to say this is actually a very, very good aircraft, a great opportunity to pick up, especially with the Battle of Britain uh, sale that's going on right now. Definitely will recommend picking it up. But other than that, for this point in the video, new viewer, pops and new subscriber, well, I hope today is the day that I earned your subscription. Having yourself an MS that like button it does help me with YouTube algorithm. Turn yourself for turn viewer and let me know your thoughts. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day and thanks for stopping by. Take care.